Hey guys, Christina here, and today I want to talk about the topic of the black screen of death on the Nintendo 3DS system. Many of us are getting this, and I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. It's really easy, and you can do this. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to unscrew these screws right here. I've already done that for the sake of time because... I want to get this done and you guys want to get it done so you can have your system fixed. So after you unscrew that, take that off. You have the next set of screws and you also have the battery pack. You have the battery pack. Uh, take out any game cartridges you have in here, including your micro SD card. Take that out. Um, just take it out. You will put it back in later. Um, take out your battery as well. That comes out easily. And, you know, take out the screws. Like I said, I've already done that for the sake of time. Uh, because I was kind of like in a fit of rage because my system wasn't working and I was just like, I have to open this thing and fix it because I found a way to do it. I stripped one of the screws. Um, I can still show you guys how to fix that even though mine does not open all the way. It opens up enough to where I can fix what I need to fix. And what you need to fix is, um, it's a wire. Do not break this wire. Be very careful. It is connected to a Wi-Fi card. And the Wi-Fi card is this little chip in here. And I'm going to tap it with my screwdriver. Uh, that is the Wi-Fi card. At least that's what I got from all the research I've done. There's a wire connected to it. Now, before you start touching it, um, you just need to reposition that wire. That is all you need to do. Just jiggle it around a little bit. Be gentle. Don't like disconnect it. And if you disconnect it from the little card, no fear. I have a solution for you. Uh, but don't, I'm going to repeat this again. Do not take that card off of what it, whatever it's connected to. Um, I'm going to take mine out just for the sake of showing you guys how to do this. And let's say you're fixing it right now and your wire got disconnected from your little chip. Do not panic. I can fix this for you. On the back, right here, this goes face down when you like have it in there. There's like this little circle thing, and there is a wire, like I said, is what you need to be fixing. That has a little circle piece that connects right to that, and you are just gonna, you know, reattach that. So it reattaches really easy. All you gotta do is just, you know, snap it together. Mine is snapped in place. All right, so. You know, this is worst case scenario, your little thing does pop off, and this pops right back on to whatever it came off of. I don't know what it's called, but it snaps right back on, so I'm going to do that. Luckily, I have small enough fingers to kind of do this, and I've done this a few times. Put it back together and have it fully functional and working. This is just for the sake of, you know, you guys being able to fix this. Um, so... You know, jiggle that wire around, make sure everything is secure in place, and like I said, if and only if you have to, you know, you really don't have to take that card off, don't take it off, just jiggle the wire, that's all you need to do. And if it does come undone, like I said, easy fix, I showed you how to do that. So now that you, um, let me make sure I have that correctly. Alright, so now that that is like repositioned and it is connected, you are going to screw everything back together in place the way it was before you did this to your system, okay? So screw everything back in place. That's all you got to do now. So I'm going to do that, and then once I'm done doing that, I will show you, I will turn on my DS system. Everything will be fully functional. Wi-Fi will work, and no more black screen of death. Problem solved. Okay, so now that my system is all put together, I am turning it on right now, and um, I have it plugged in because I've been messing with it a lot and playing it a lot and the battery is going to die. Alright, so the easiest way to check this I have found is uh, just, you know, turn on your Wi-Fi once your system is turned on and then just go to the Nintendo eShop. Um, let that load and everything. You know, this is like a really easy fix, you guys. You know, if you, you don't have to send your system in to Nintendo for $95. You don't have to go to the game store, you know, your local one down the street and have that fixed. I mean, they do it cheaper, but still, like, save yourself some money and, you know, all that stuff. So it's still loading. Um, and it says it's ready. All right, so it's connected. I'm connected to the store and everything. I can browse around and all that good stuff. 
And then it says in the corner, internet, and my little bars are, you know, going. So I'm connected to the internet, and this is just by opening up my system, and the Wi-Fi wire that's connected to that card, just jiggle it around a little bit, reposition it, and if that does disconnect from the little Wi-Fi card, you can snap back on really easily, and it's an easy fix. Put your system back together, which is basically, in this case, uh, screwing the screws and the panels back together, and making sure everything's in place, the battery, and then turn it on and connect to Wi-Fi, you're done. It's a really easy fix. And um, because I am a gamer, I'm thinking that I want to actually do some videos about gaming, like uh, walkthroughs and just like talking about games maybe. Anyways, um, so if this video helped you, um, you know, subscribe and tell your friends, share the video with them, and if you are a gamer like me, thumbs up. Thanks, guys, and I hope your system works. Let me know. Bye, guys.